the uh, confirmation of the minutes of the ordinary meeting, 17th of March 2020. Can we have move the police councillors? So moved. Moved by Councillor Longley, seconded by Councillor... So moved. Yes. Councillor Whitechurch. Mm -hmm. All in favour? Yes. Yes. Aye. Aye. Against? Aye. Against? Carried. Good. Good. Okay, disclosures of interest. Uh, Councillors, I'll ask the general manager, are there any disclosures? I do have a disclosure of interest from Councillor Whitechurch in engineering report 10.4, tender assessment report, Doctors Road Bridge replacement, being an employee of the company who who's in, in for the tender for that job. So Councillor Whitechurch will leave the meeting when that report comes in. Thank you. Would someone like to move that, please, councillors? Moved by Councillor Wales, seconded by Councillor... Yes, so moved. Councillor Thomas, all in favour? Aye. 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 I'm Aye. sorry, against? Carried, thank you. We'll move on to point number six, mayoral minute. Uh, 6.1, message from the mayor in relation to the COVID-19. Uh, there is a rec recommendation that council note the message from the mayor in relation to COVID-19. Would someone like to move that, please? So moved. Moved by Councillor Longley. Seconded Second. by Councillor Hall. Council mm -hmm. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you, councillors. 6.2, COVID-19 financial support. There's a recommendation there, councillors. Um, you probably, you would have all read it, so there's no point in going through it. Would someone like to move that recommendation, please? So moved. So moved. Moved by Councillor Kendi, seconded by Councillor Thomas. Uh, any questions or comments, councillors? Councillor Thomas, did you, uh, did you have your hand up there? Uh, not for this particular item, Councillor. Sorry, Councillor Thomas. If there's no further questions or comments, Councillors, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Aye. Carried. Thank you. Okay, we we'll move on to uh, number seven, the General Manager's Report. Uh, 7.1. Remote meetings, council and committee changes to proposed council's code of meeting practice due to COVID-19. Uh, there's a recommendation there, councillors. Would someone like to move that recommendation, please? Moved by councillor. Yes, my church. Councillor. Okay. Councillor Second. Kennedy. Second. Seconded by councillor. Moved by councillor Kennedy and seconded by councillor Thomas. Any questions or comments there, councillors? In relation to that report. If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you. 7.2, our community movement digital campaign, council's digital campaign to the community in response to COVID-19. There's a recommendation there again, councillors. Would someone like to move that recommendation? Moved with comment. So moved. Moved by councillors. Longley and second by Councillor Thomas. Uh, comment by Councillor Thomas, please. I think this is um, a really exciting program that's come forward. Um, you know, we're absolutely encouraging our participants to share their community spirit on social media. So I'd like to have a flow on effect from that. And I'm thinking, well, why not as councillors, we could citate one each of the eight um, topics that are being encouraged. So it'd be great if we could upload maybe to our media one of the eight, you know, each of us choose one of the eight tips and then get that put up on social media. So that looks like we're really actually engaging with. Uh, Councillor Wales. Am I on speaker still? Yep. Yes. Yeah, I'd just like to say um, I fully support this program. Um, it's a very good initiative and um, this postcard little matter is uh, very good because it only needs a little bit of a kickstart to the neighbour who 
some are a bit sort of scared or skeptical to sort of ask for help. But if a postcard goes in their box, well, they say, oh, this is good. So, well, just might ask for some help. So it's a very good issue. Excellent. Thanks, Councillor Wales. Any further comments here, Councillors? Uh, Councillor Thomas, would you like to add anything to the recommendation or um, are you happy with the recommendation and that we follow through with, with that? I'm really happy with the way the recommendation is put forward. I just thought it would just add our capacity if each one of us could, you know, hashtag and citate one of the eight tips that we're trying to move forward. And maybe our mayor could, you know, explain to our community about the hashtags. You know, if we all did a 30 second grab and then that was uploaded onto social media, well, it adds, adds weight to what we're trying to convey. It sounds great. It sounds great. Um, and I'm I'm absolutely positive our um, our media ladies all over that, so that'll that'll be very that'll be positive. So can, uh, I'll just pass it on to the general manager to make comment. Yeah, thanks, councillors and, and councillor Thomas. I think that's an excellent point. Our our communications team's been really busy, uh, recognising the the impacts of people not being able to get around as much as they as they should be able to in normal times. So I think that's an excellent idea. There's another fairly big campaign going on this week uh, that Council have initiated uh, with Wind TV. I think it is around uh, advertising and, and getting not just councillors but other community members to come forward and, and spread some messages of uh, encouragement. So I think we can tie all, all that in with these with these points you'd raised as well and, and do a really big job on it. So I will take that up definitely. Thank you, um, Councillor Thomas. Um, we'll we'll leave the recommendation as it is. We're taking on all your points on board. Um, if any further comments, councillors. If not, I'll put it. All in favour. Aye. 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 Against. Carried. Thank you. Okay, seven point three. Council's response to COVID nineteen. There's another recommendation there, councillors. Uh, recommended that council note the report for council service response measures to COVID-19 and the changes to council facilities and services to date. Can I move it, please, council? Yes, I so move. Moved by Councillor Longley. Seconded by Councillor Longmire. Talk to uh, Questions or comments, councillors? Councillor Whitechurch. Yeah, Mr Mayor, if I could just um, obviously commending the, the council and the staff and everybody for being so uh, diligent with the way that COVID-19 uh, has had to make us all change. But there is a little bit of um, discussion around the public toilets and that being still closed, yet people are still using them where they haven't got doors. Um, and also I know the council offices and the RTO or RMS is closed as well. Is there getting much uh, feedback in the office about that where older people can't use the online services? Uh, council directors or general manager, would someone like to comment on that? Yeah, I might refer that to uh, Director Joe Shannon for customer service and the work around Service New South Wales, if Joe's able to come in. Thanks, Avery. Uh, so we have had some feedback about some members of our community not being able to access physical services. So uh, where we've come across those things, we've reassessed what we're doing and have put in measures so that we are able to provide a level of service. And uh, the particular area where we have focused on there is Service New South Wales, uh, where uh, we closed our offices to the public and uh, to uh, public access, but we still had email and phone uh, uh, service able to be provided. Uh, we uh, had feedback that some members of our community uh, were not then not able to submit their paperwork and that that was pushing those people to actually have to travel to Albury to the services that are provided there. Now, uh, what we have done to, um, to limit that occurring is we've reassessed our services and have put in some measures where paperwork can be uh, provided to the office through our, li our uh, library after hour shoot, which is, is now sort of becoming a communication shoot, so that paperwork can be submitted. We have hygiene practices in place to protect our staff and protect community members and we're able to provide a level of service to those community members rather than sending them to Albury to access it. So uh, where we are getting feedback, we are actually reassessing things and seeing how can we provide a service to people and how can we do that sustainably over a period of time. Thank you, Joe. Uh, yeah, any, further, 
thanks for that, Director Shannon. And uh, I weren't aware that the uh, shoot was available, and maybe we could uh, get that out through the, the comms team as well. That's great. Well done. Any further comments or questions there, councillors? Comments? Uh, yes, I'll, I'll take um, uh, Councillor Thomas, please. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. And also, along our fellow Councillor Whitechurch's uh, citation, I'd just like to also commend our staff and our communities, our volunteers, you know, our Section 355 committees. They've all had to come together and make changes to their daily routines and events and functions and facilities. Uh, especially the core business of council. The core business of council hasn't stopped. And all out behind the scenes have had to still keep going under changed circumstances and, and just so much well done. Our communities, thank you for that. The other side note is that just re in regards to toilets, which has also been highlighted, is there a possibility to actually do some more communication around what toilet blocks are opened in our townships and our villages? You know, can we do an A-frame out the front and say toilet opened or because not everyone has social media, so there might have been an opportunity there. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Thomas. Uh, and I'm sure we'll take that up with our communications lady once again and, and see how she thinks best to communicate that for sure. Uh, uh, Steve, would you like to make a comment? Yeah, just on the toilet block issue, um, all, the north, all the northern toilet, or what we would have referred to as the Urana Council many years ago, they're, everyone up there is still open as... You would realise most villages only had one toilet block, so they're all open. We've been asked by RMS or Transport for New South Wales to keep a minimum of one toilet block open on major truck routes. So you will find that we have Halong, Corowa and Mawala have toilet one, a minimum of one toilet block open. So I think you will find that every town now has a toilet block available for the public use. Excellent. And obviously, if we could identify those those locations, that'll help. Councillor Longmire. Thank you, Mr Mayor. In regard to another comment that was made from the general public in regard to the walking path between Sanger Street and the Golf Club, uh, both toilet opportunities, uh, one at uh, Lyons Park and the other one at Morris Park, are closed. Would there be an opportunity for um, one of those or whichever way? I'm not sure how to handle that, but certainly it's a popular walking path at the moment and there has been a request come forward for that opportunity. Thank you, Councillor Longmire. Um, well, would any of the directors like to make a comment on that? Or the general manager? I'll take that on board. Thanks, Steve. Excuse me, Mr Mayor. Yeah, that was uh, Councillor Longmire. That was the same one that I was uh, referred to as well. There's a lot of people on that walking path and you can't get access to a toilet. Well, if you were going to choose a toilet on that route, which one would it be? The closest one to you at the time. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I might just make a comment, Mr. Mayor. We, in the regular um, meetings, we're having our continuity management team meet pretty much every couple of days now. It was every day while this thing was escalating to get our services and our staff and our communications and everything else ramped up. So we, we, we're now looking at you know looking towards state, federal governments and what they're doing around future relaxations of all these laws to to reactivate our facilities and our communities. So we're, we're moving sort of forward in that direction as well because we've pretty much got all our, our things in compliance. But yeah, we do have to have a focus in on as we do, um, I guess, reopen some of these things, whether they're toilet box, playgrounds, whatever they might be. The expectation is going to be there that uh, they are safe and hygienic and, and it is a, a tough balance between um, how much we can extra resource up our cleaning. It's not sustainable to be able to continue to have a, a superly highly effective cleaning um, methods that would counteract COVID-19 and with our current thing. So it's just, I know councils will be aware, but just being mindful in the public domain that they are aware that uh, whilst we've got to comply, it's not as simple as just opening up the doors and, and going back to our old cleaning regimes while this threat's still big. So. Yeah, we've just got to have that balance and we're certainly working towards that and and, and working on that and that will affect our budget as well. So councils will be taken through that as well as to how we think we're going to, um, you know, reactivate these places and still have them safe. Thank you. Any further comments on that, councillors? 
If not, I'll put it. All in favour. Aye. 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 Against. Carried. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. General Manager, for that report. Uh, we'll move on to um, number eight, the Director of Corporate and Community Services report. Uh, there's the uh, statement of bank balances and reconciliation at as at 31st of March 2020. There's a recommendation there, councillors. Would someone like to move that recommendation, please? Okay. Moved by Councillor Wales, seconded by Councillor Law. Thank you, Councillor Law. Any questions or comments, councillors? Mr. Mayor. Councillor Meagle. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just to Ms. Shannon, this is the second month in a row where the general fund has been somewhat lower than expected. And uh, I rem believe last month we, we thought it was going to be an aberration and further projects would uh, proceed to uh, restore that fund. Could you provide us with an update on where we're sitting given the circumstances that have happened since the last meeting? Council Shannon, uh, Joe, are you comfortable with that or would you like to take it on notice? Uh, no, I'm happy to respond to that, um, Mr Mayor. Uh, I'll respond briefly at this point. I have some further information that I will be going through with councillors. So the cash balance is lower than uh, we had originally envisaged and, and it was low last month. There's been a number of timing things that are impacting on our cash balance, um, resulting in it being lower. Uh, there's been a number of uh, grant programs where council has delivered the works and it's particularly road works uh, where there's been delays in us receiving the grant funding uh, back to reimburse us for that expenditure. So there was a significant one uh, last month uh, that we have received, but there's also a second significant one that, uh, that uh, of $1.1 million that we have now worked out with the uh, New South Wales government under the Fixing Country Roads program. So uh, we are expecting to receive those funds you know, within the next uh, month or two. So that will assist our cash balance. The other uh, significant factor is the Mawala industrial development, where we, in the short term, we used $4.3 million of council's cash reserves to do that development. Uh, at this point, we haven't secured the borrowings uh, that were agreed to for that particular project. And we are working through those discussions with TCOR uh, at the moment, and we're expecting to be able to draw down on those borrowings at the start of June. So, so that was $2.7 million of borrowings, which will restore our cash balance. Nice, right? in, in addition to that is the proceeds from the sale of the blocks. So uh, I think it was about 13 of those uh, lots have been sold. Of those, uh, we, and that totals $1.6 million of proceeds in the 1920 year, we have received approximately six to 700,000 of those proceeds, and the remaining $1 million is expected to be received in April and May this year. Uh, so that will restore our cash balance to uh, a level that we're more comfortable with. So I have some more detailed modelling that I will be going through uh, with councillors later today. Thank you, Joe. Uh, any further uh, comments there, councillors, or questions? Fred, Councillor Longmire, Mr Mayor. Councillor Longmire. Yeah, could I, if I may, through you, ask Ms Shannon in regard to the opportunity for our budget uh, work going forward under the circumstances of what we're all experiencing uh, because next month obviously is May. And uh, is there any intent that we have a uh, a, a workshop or whatever in regard to uh, establishing in our budget so at the end of the financial year we have some sort of a structure. Uh, thank you. Uh, Joe. are you comfortable with that one or yes? Yes, happy um, Mr Mayor. So um, thank you Councillor Longmire. We've been doing some extensive work on our long-term financial planning project. Now uh, we're, we're coming sort of to the tail end of that and that is uh, in, in a couple of weeks' time, we'll be ready to present to councillors. It has been delayed slightly by COVID-19 and the redirection of our resources and to respond to COVID-19. Uh, in addition to that, there will be financial impacts of COVID-19. And so what we're in the process of doing is trying to um, estimate those impacts on our revenue uh, and our expenditure so that we understand what that impact is going to be this financial year and what it's going to be in the next financial year to uh, lay that over the draft budget that we have prepared. Uh, so I, I don't have the answers to you today. Uh, however, 
uh, over the coming six week period, uh, there will be some extensive financial information uh, coming before you to consider for uh, the 2020-21 budget that you will be uh, needing to adopt. There has been an extension of time provided to adopt the budget. So an additional month has been uh, legislated to, uh, to adopt a budget now by the end of uh, July. And so I'll be proposing that we use that time to better understand our financial position. Thank you, Joe. Any further questions, get the councils. If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. Aye. All right. Aye. Against? Carried. Thank you. Item number 8.2, Schedule of Investments, as at 31st of March 2020. There's a recommendation here, councils. Can I have a mover, please? Moved by Councillor Law. Thank you. Seconded by Councillor Kennedy. Kennedy. Any questions? Any questions or comments, councillors? If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. 8.3, new hangar licence agreement, hangar 7, Ivan Zemanvik, Coral Aerodrome. Uh, there's a recommendation there, councillors. Would someone like to move that recommendation for me? For discussion, moved by Councillor Whitehurst, seconded by Councillor Wales. Thank you. Any questions or comments, councillors? Councillor Whitehurst. Yeah, with that uh, hangar setup, I'm aware that Ivan's had an ongoing issue with his um, hangar for quite some time with council regarding the, the lack of agreement. And it appears that there's been obviously a fair bit of old stuff that's been there that hasn't been ever put into place. Um, I'm sure that's now through our staff being all reviewed and all the hangers will come in line also in conjunction with um, you know, all the new leases that we're looking at at the airport. Yeah. yeah, I can answer that on behalf of the staff. We've even, once the early work came through with the Qantas, potential for Qantas, which flowed over onto Amber Aviation and the potential to lease that facility out, we had a fair amount of work ahead of us to even get a database of all those owners to start uh, EDM, start an electronic newsletter and start communicating better with those hangers. So there's been a lot of catch up work uh, done to tidy up that regard. But yeah, I, I certainly take that on board and agree with that. There's been a, a fairly fairly extensive um, history there trying to understand where where and how those all operated and etc. So I think Mr. Uh, Ivan will be quite happy that he does um, get out of this one because it did take a couple of months, even this one. So. Thank you. Um, any further questions there, councillors? If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you. 8.4, postponement of Mickey City visit in October 2020. There's a recommendation there, councillors. Would someone like to move that, please? So moved. moved. By councillor Law, seconded by councillor Meagle. Is that right? Uh, Councillor Meagle, are you happy to second that? Yes, thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you. Any questions or comments, Councillors? Please, Mr Mayor. Councillor Meagle? Yeah, it's, um, it is disappointing, uh, but understandable. And as long as we communicate that we haven't ended our sister city agreement like another council that uh, received a fair bit of um, pushback as a result of that decision, we're happy to continue with it, just postpone it. Thank you, Councillor Meagle. I've I've been in contact with with Mickey City with Kyoko and they are also fairly well in lockdown and and keeping themselves very quiet and I think they'll be happy to postpone it, knowing that it will continue. Thank you, Councillor. I ask the general manager to make a comment. Yeah, and I'd agree with that. And I think it's like a lot of our things we've taken on now and embraced because we've had to. I think we should use this chance to make sure we can do more. I know we've got Amber and that are working hard on getting that committee going. I think we might need to make sure we don't um, drop the ball too much uh, because we haven't got that visit coming and do some more interactive things, whether we try and do a few things during the year online or, or get some more connections between schools. So I think if we work hard on it, and I know it's a staff 
resourcing as well. But I think if we do a little bit of work, um, even around that time when they normally would have been here or something, I think that'd be a positive thing to keep that friendship. I think that's a great idea, councillors. We will be all tuned up to this video conferencing, so it'd be a great opportunity to have a video conference with some of the staff and, and people that are involved over there. I think that's fan Karaoke, yeah, they're perfect. Perfect. All right, councillors, any further questions or comments on that? A no, councillor no. Whitechurch? Uh, in light of the comments, Mr Mayor, and um, would it be appropriate to amend that motion, point two, to have the council endorse the recommendations to postpone the 2020 Mickey City visit and the Federation Council until 2021 and add to that uh, liaise with Mickey City regarding the continuation of the association? Yeah, I think that would yeah, be a good fit. Um, would the, the mover and the second be happy with that? <coughs> council Lawrence? Yes, definitely. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Any further comments here, councillors? I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you. 8.5, postponement of New South Wales election, a council election, September 2020. We have a recommendation there, councillors. Would someone like to move that, please? Moved so by Councillor Thomas. Seconded by Councillor... Law. Law. Thank you. Any questions or comments, councillors? So, Councillor Thomas, would you look like... Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I just really wanted to really um, probably embrace what we're going to move forward with. I mean, we really are experiencing some really un, you know, unpredicted circumstances and this is why this has happened. But then again, it's actually giving us consistency with my fellow councillors, you know, to deliver some really high profile rebuilding capacity projects. I would envisage it's gonna happen as we move forward past COVID-19. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the next 12 months. And I'm thinking, well, if we all keep well and our communities well, I can see light at the end of the tunnel will be very positive. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Councillor Thomas, and, and I, I too agree that um, uh, coming out of COVID-19, it will be a challenge uh, in different ways, but also a big opportunity. And, and um, you know, if our season con continues to be favourable, um, yeah, I'm sure our council will just bounce ahead again and um, take on some some pretty exciting um, projects. So thanks for that. Any further comments? Council Law. Council Law. Yeah, I noticed in the letters to the editor in the border today, there was some confusion about Albury Council. Although they're um, postponing their election, they're still having a mayoral election. If we go ahead and do that, it would be a good idea to explain to the public that the mayor is elected by the councillors, not the general public, because I think this person thinks that although there's not an election, there's going to be um, an election for the mayor. And if we're going to do that, we need to make it quite obvious why. Yeah, and, and really, it's a good point. Aubrey's, Aubrey's not got a popularly elected mayor either, but some, some councils, not many, but some councils in New South still have that, that um, position where they have their mayor elected each election time by the people. Uh, so Aubrey are no different than any, most of the others where they only elect their mayor for every two years. And as Councillor Thomas had mentioned as well, like this councils, the merge councils are only in a three-year term, so they really just get to do a full four-year term, whereas your Albury's and that now go go longer, as you know, because they were already elected before before then, and they were elected in 2016. So, yeah, the situation, we can do some good explanations about, because um, it does get confusing, your deputy mayor's on a one-year term and the mayors are on two-year terms, so there's... Um, there's going to be people asking why in September this year our council is having a deputy mayor and not a mayor. and So, yeah, I think we can make it a pretty clearly, but it's a good point if someone's written that in the paper, there's probably confusion. Yeah, definitely. It, it, it's just the way it's fallen, really. We, we've actually, yeah, because of our merger, we lost that first 12 months, so it put us out of sync straight away. Mm. And then um, the way the COVID-19 rose its head, it, um, it, it just fulfilled that two-year um, pledge for the mayor. So no, good point. Well, um, we need to do a bit of media about that, and no doubt our media lady's probably listening. So that'll be good to cover off on that. Any further questions, there, councillors? If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 
Against? Carried. Thank you. I, I'm up to um, 8.6. 8.6, Audit Risk and Improvement Committee Chair's Report. There's a recommendation there that needs moving. Please, councillors, who would like to move it? Yes, Mr Mayor. Moved by Councillor Meagle, seconded by Councillor Lowe. Longley. Longley. Uh, any questions or comments, councillors? Just I'll put it. Uh, Councillor Meagle. Yeah, just a quick comment, thank you, Mr Mayor, that uh, the Chair is doing, in my opinion, an excellent job on chairing this committee. She's a very capable lady and uh, has ensured that If not, I'll put it. Sorry, was there Councillor Wiles? Yeah, I support that, Councillor Meadle. Councillor Wiles, you just might wait a minute there. We've just lost you on this end. Am I there uh, now? Yeah, yeah, there now. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I had a, Sorry, I turned it off. Yeah, I support Councillor Meagle's comment. She's a very capable lady, this Linda. Well done. Thank you. Excellent. Councillors, if there's nothing further, I'll put it all in favour. Aye. 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 Against? Yes. Carried. Thank you. 8.7 minutes of audit risk and improvement committee, 28th of February 2020. Recommendation there. Councillor, who would like to move that recommendation, please? So moved, Mr Mayor. Moved by Councillor Meagle, seconded by Councillor Law. No. Law. Any questions or comments, councillors? I'll put it then. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you. 8.8. .8, I am Federation Social Pages. Recommendation there. Move, would someone like to move that, please? Moved by Councillor Wales. Seconded by Councillor Kennedy. Aye. Aye. Kennedy. Uh, any questions or comments, councillors? Councillor Thomas, have you got your hand up there? I have comments. Uh, I think it's, I'm really loving what's coming out of the uh, Federation Youth Council, and this is, uh, you know, their enthusiasm and, and to follow on with this I am Federation. How proud is that? It just says it all. They're really proud to actually live in Federation, which is really exciting. I just really wanted to flag with some key council staff an ABC um, program, which is called Haywire, which gives opportunity for youth right across regional and rural Australia to come together in Canberra for a summit. I just wondered whether there was opportunity for council staff to explore along with the, the youth council, if they were interested in engaging in such an exciting program. You know, it's fully expensive paid and they have some really, really um, solid speakers. And they also get to advocate on behalf of their communities to, uh, to federal government. Just to let you know and put you up to speed with something, you know, that could be at their doorstep. Thank you. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a good idea, Council Thomas. We've been involved in that AY program in the past and it's been excellent. So um, I'd say that's a great idea. Yeah, um, would any any further comments? Council Wales, did you have one there? I, I do. Um, I really I support Council Thomas's comments. If I really like the phrase, the youth phrase, I am Federation. And I must say, I did get the same feeling when that other catchy phrase was presented, North of the Murray. So keep up the good work. Yeah, thank you. Good on you, Council Wales. Uh, any further comments, councillors? If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you. I've got 8.9, hardship relief. Uh, recommendation there, councillors. Would someone like to move that, please? Looks like moved by right. Whitechurch. Uh, so can, oh, Councillor Kennedy popped up there. Um, so seconded by Councillor Kennedy. Any questions or comments there, councillors? Mr Mayor. Councillor Kennedy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get the mover if you'd like to make the first comment. Councillor oh, Whitechurch. Yeah, thank you, Mr Mayor. I, um, I've taken board the... Uh, the hardship relief policy is the, the main driver behind this for anybody that's experienced hardship as a re result of the COVID-19 virus. The main concern is that whilst we've identified businesses and ratepayers and um, com community groups, etc., I just want to make sure that to apply for this hardship that it's not going to be a, a heap of hurdles and hoops that they have to jump through. Um, there's a lot of people who don't have internet access or can't source the, the policy. 
um, maybe as an ongoing an on thing we could uh, look at a relatively easy way and not have to put people through any more pain when they try to access the hardship. Thank you, Council White Church. Totally agree. Uh, Council Kennedy, did you have a comment? Yes, I did. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just um, backing up on what Sean said, it's, um, we really got to look after our communities, and especially the ones that are doing it real hard, and we've got to sort of make it... And the businesses, you know, the businesses are all struggling, especially you find, like, a lot of the accommodation businesses in town, the motels and all that, that they're really struggling with, with their... Um, They've got no turnover. Like there's a lot of businesses who just got no turnover at all, and I think we really got to support the ones who really need need the relief. And it's not a free fall for everyone. We we still got to raise rates and and have it all all you know properly properly done. But it needs to be done properly. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank thank you, Councillor Kennedy. Uh, Councillor Councillor Thomas, did you have a? Uh, just to reiterate what my fellow councillors have mentioned. Uh, yeah, it just really gives clarification as we move forward in council approach, especially to our rates and our water billing, you know, because certainly with these uncertain times, the community for both the business, the households and the individuals is just, you know, they're really uncertain times as we move forward. So, uh, you know, with this clarification, it's just going to make that next process that much more clear and transparent. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Thomas. Any further comments here, councillors? Councillors, I just wanted to, um, before I put it, just uh, mention that uh, in front, the screen in front of me, there's three councils there. Um, so basically when someone wants to make a comment, I'm seeing them speak. So don't think I'm missing you. Uh, I think just yell out if you want to move something or make a comment um, because I, I've only got three councils at, at a time in front of me. So thank you. I'll put it all in favour. Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Okay, 8.11 is council delegations to the mayor. Uh, there's a recommendation there, councillors. Uh, uh, Councillor item, item 8.10 would be, oh. be better to do that first. Thank you, Councillor Meagle. 8.10. 8.10, I'm sorry, Councillor Meagle. Uh, business support initiatives for Federation Council businesses. Uh, we have a recommendation there, councillors. Would you like to move that one, please, Councillor Meagle? So move, Mr Mayor. Thanks, Councillor Meagle. Seconded, please. Seconded. Seconded by Councillor Longmire, is that right? Kennedy. Yes. Oh, Kennedy. Councillor Kennedy. Any questions or comments, councillors? Councillor Meagle. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Just a quick one. Um, endorsing Councillor Kennedy's earlier comments um, for businesses which with ongoing expenses and um, no income. And there's a few that have adapted. There are a few that have been able to continue, but there's an awful lot that uh, have virtually had their business ceased due to no fault of their own. So uh, anything that we can do as a council to support these businesses, I think is very commendable. Absolutely. Thank you, Councillor Meagle. Any further comments, councillors? I'll just make a note. Council is the first of those electronic newsletters went out, the business support electronic newsletter went out. So that was done in conjunction with the business chamber and Cora especially and our comms team and our economic development staff, a bunch of others. So there's been a, an enormous amount of work uh, put in. I know we don't just want to have all, uh, all talk and no action, but I think it's a good way of starting to get that engagement. So there could be five or 600 um, members on that database already that we didn't have before. So that's another way we're going to make sure we can really actively engage and, and through those other areas as well, through grants and business support, but getting that engagement up front end has um, been a great thing as well. Wales. Councillor Wales, did you have a comment? Can't advertise it. Councillor Wales, you might... Um, Sorry, I'm here now. We can't advertise enough to shop locally. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Councillor Wales. Uh, I, I suppose while we're on the... On the business um, side of it, I would just like to make a comment just what's happening today with our, our reports from all our general managers and directors. It's all extra work. Once again, it's 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 um we've got all our community assets that they're trying to deliver, uh, run their business as usual, and um, then we've got the COVID on end that's lobbed on top of council as well. So I think we need to think of our own business as far as Federation Council and and. Uh, just, just, I'm just being grateful for what's happened here as well. So thank you for that. Councillor Thomas. I just had a comment also. 
um, I took the opportunity to actually have a look through that first edition that's come out and it was really well received. The resources and those links are so concise when you click on them, which I think is really handy because we're all quite, you know, especially businesses are quite time poor. Just to have a link there already set up, click on it, away you go. Well done. Thank you to those staff that were involved in that project. And I'm, I would envisage too that this will be an ongoing project that we'll only build as we move on to. Thank you. Thank you. Any further questions or comments, councillors? If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Okay, 8.11 <coughs> council delegations to the Mayor. Uh, there, there's a recommendation to the councillors. Would someone like to move it, please? Moved by Councillor Longley. Seconded by Councillor Whitechurch. Uh, any questions or comments, councillors? If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carry. 8.12, council delegations to the general manager. Uh, recommendation to councillors. Would someone also move that one, please? Moved by councillor? Kennedy. Councillor Kennedy. Well, Seconded second. by councillor Longley. Any questions or comments, councillors? I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against, against carried. Thank you. Item 8.13, library air resources. Air resources, is that right? E resources. E resources, e resources. <laughs> It just went, er, uh, that's all. Uh, <laughs> rec <laughs> recommendation to the councillors, um, would someone like to move that, please? The E resources, not the er ones. Um, move by councillor. Second, move by, second move, Wales. Moved by councillor Wales, seconded by councillor Longley, was that right? Yes. Uh, okay. Any questions or comments? Councillor. Um, I have comment. Councillor Thomas. Yes, please, councillor Thomas. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is the Riverina Regional Library um, general meeting. I don't know whether my fellow council or is hopping on as well, but we're actually hosting our meeting via Zoom, which is another another okay. platform to do that. Uh, there obviously there will be discussion around how the um, pooled funds of the five hundred and eleven dollars and fifty cents will be um, will be distributed, and and, and what the um, Riverina Li Regional Library Service might do in within that capacity. Uh, I'm thinking that along the lines, it'd be nice if I could create a, a, a digital platform to actually deliver some services that that have that have gone, especially some of those key services to our seniors, like the. Um, you know, the Tech Savvy Senior Workshops, they were very successful, especially in Moala. We had a great um, teacher who resides in Moala who was delivering those. And I would also like to think that maybe there's opportunity to create a platform where we can engage, you know, some of those social outing, outings that our seniors did online if they have that capacity. You know, think about those exercise classes that they can't do anymore, but wouldn't it be great to have those in some format where they could actually log on and still do them at home? So I'm really looking forward to also joining in on this Zoom conference tomorrow. And also the Federation Council are highlighted with a really great library report. Thank you. Excellent, Councillor Thomas, and thanks for coming in with that uh, report. Um, a lot of councils have a bit of fun with my pronunciation of names at times and um, it was good that you came in. We did move a, a one first, so thanks for that. Any further comments here, councillors? If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Uh, carried. Thank you. 8.14, sale of land, rand. Oh, there's a recommendation there. Councillors, uh, would someone like to move that recommendation? So moved. Moved by Councillor Longmire, seconded by Councillor Longley. Any questions or comments there, Councillors? Nothing. If not, I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Again? Aye. Aye. Against? Carried. Thank you. So that completes that um, 
report. So we'll now move on to the Director of Corporate and Community Services report. Development. Uh, development. Environmental. I'm sorry, that completes the Director of Corporate and Community Services report and we'll move on to the Director of Development and Environmental Services report. How are we going, 1019? Uh, <coughs> keep moving, councillors, or did you need it? Did you get a coffee at some stage, maybe around 10.30 or something, or, or now? Um, any, any comments there, councillors? Keep going. Keep going, okay. 10.30, yeah, I'd say, Mr Mayor. 10.30, right, okay. So, I love one. Order one the cafe. <laughs> Good. So nine point one is the first uh, the the first one off the the mark, and that's building approvals, complying, and construction certificates approved since the since the March twenty twenty ordinary council meeting. Uh, there they are, councillors. We've got a recommendation to move first, moved by councillor uh, and seconded by councillor Longmire. Uh, questions or comments on those councillors? If not, I'll put it all in favour. Aye. 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 Against, carried. 9.3 is regional and state significant. I'm sorry, nearly a point of order again there. 9.2, development applications under, under delegated staff authority since March 2020 ordinary council meeting. Uh, the recommendation there, would someone like to move that, please? So moved. Moved by Councillor Meagle, seconded by Councillor Law. Uh, any questions or comments there, councillors? I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Item 9.3, regional and state significant development applications lodged. Would someone like to move that recommendation, please, councillors? Longley. Councillor no, Longley. Wales, second. Seconded by Councillor Wales. Questions or comments, councillors? I'll put it. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Gary, thank you. 9.4 Ballpark Caravan Park Corowa, March 2020 update report. <coughs> Recommendation there, councillors. Would someone move that one, please? Move by Councillor uh, Longley. Uh, Long, second, second. Seconded by Councillor Law. Any questions or comments here, councillors? Yes, Mr. Mayor. The, I note um, there's yeah. income. Um, uh, reported for a period of time, but we've seen no expenses. And um, um, I'm just wondering where we're up to and how much we've spent on uh, on that park um, in, in this financial year. OK, um, I'd like, I'll, I'll ask um, our director, Susan, to make comment on that. Um, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Longley. Um, I'll take that on notice and we can have a, an update on that to you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Anything further, councillors? Um, Councillor Law, so That's many right. people are commenting on how much better the caravan park looks even now, even though it's not being used. It certainly is giving people a lot of hope that it's going to be a wonderful thing when it's done. Well, that's positive, Councillor. That's very good. And and just add to that, Councillors, as uh, Director Appleyard pointed out, it's probably timely regards Councillor Longley's comments because in May we're still aiming to get the uh, the draft business plan, master plan out uh, and coincide that with the foreshore master plan. And it has lost a little bit of time, but it's been a big project, both ones. So we're hopeful and, and that can wrap up that discussion about the future options around management and those sort of things. It might be all we... So, but if we can go out on exhibition and get the public some some understanding of where we're looking to head, that'll be a good thing. Yeah. Sure. Uh, any further comments, councillors? Nothing further. I'll put it all in favour. Aye. 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 Against. Gary. Okay, 9.5, uh, commercial use of footpaths and road mm. roads policy. Uh, would someone like to move that recommendation, please, councillors? 
move with comment. Um, you'll you'd move, move. Thank you, Councillor Thomas, and Councillor Law. Law. Uh, comment, Councillor Thomas. Um, this is uh, a question to our director, Abby Yard, and just wanting clarification around um, third party engagement in terms of the use of some of our um, roads and footpaths. I was thinking RMS, you know, local land services, those kind of things. Uh, I was just thinking long term about long, you know, pop up, you know, those pop up and mobile food drinks and vans that come and go, especially with um, peak holiday season. How, how does that go? How does that fit into this new document? Thank you. Uh, with pop up vehicles, they're under a different section. Oh, they're under the same section of the Local Government Act, Section 68. However, they require a different approval for itinerant traders. This is more for your uh, traders that are in existing businesses that want to use the footpath as a point of sale or an alfresco eating area. Yeah, no, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't read in the document about such facilities. That's why I thought I just needed some clarification around that after I was reading that particular document. Thank you. Thank you. Any further comments there, councillors? I'll put it all in favour. Aye. 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 Against. Kerry, thank you. And that completes uh, the uh, Director of Development and Environmental Services report. Thanks, Susan. Okay, councillors, it is uh, 10.25. Would someone like to uh, move to suspend? Suspend. So moved. Councillor Longmire, seconded by Councillor Wales. All in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Aye. Carried. And just before.